Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Last one was fun to talk about Beatles music, how amazing George Harrison is. And uh, thank you so much for amazing, great comments. This time I'm gonna do about the triads. Especially this week at the Berkeley, Tuesday, Wednesday, I have about 30 students. Each lesson, I just ask this question. How much do you know about the triads? And very specific way, I ask and I ask to you know each one to demonstrate and what's happening is easy to say yeah I know triads but how and problem is maybe fingerings maybe noise um, control maybe pace a lot of things maybe bad habits so not everybody everybody did a great job but then some of them had a really um, interesting uh, fingering also pacing was too fast really noisy not understand and something like that so here I'm going to give you exactly how I treat you as my student okay so I teach three different ways to uh, understand and teach triads so first you have to understand C triad root position root major third fifth do mi so right and name of notes so here's always question should i do this should i do that do everything always more work you do less work later okay so first inversion is starting from third mi so do you know so you have major third fifth root so you have to write it down on a paper maybe start with root position, first inversion, second inversion, which is fifth root, major third, so do me. And you can recognize these notes. And so basically, I do teach three ways. Three ways means vertical, you know. Oh, I should bring a guitar neck to show, you know. <laughs> Excuse me a second. See, this is, I'm the only guy that does this. Go up. Somewhere, ah, here you go. See, I should have prepared more, but I thought about this one, but I completely forgot. So sometimes, you know, <laughs> I use neck to show, you know, yeah, you know how to play, you know, right? Neck, yeah. Did you ask me about fretboard? Do you want to learn fretboard? Here we go, fretboard. <laughs> okay, so three ways means this. One is a vertical, like a top top string to bottom string, go up like that, okay? I will show you, demonstrate differently, okay? And then horizontal, three strings each. First, second, third, second, third, fourth, third, fourth, sixth, fourth, si blah, blah, blah. third, fourth, sixth, you know, so the fourth, you know, so you go side by side, horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. And then you learn same inversion each set of strings so like four different positions and learn key of c what did you ask yes somebody said should i memorize no be familiar with that's the huge difference because memorization seems easy but it just memorizing shape not really helping to be able to play freely to express music through guitar. And triads are just tool to understand fretboard. Okay, so I don't really recommend memorization. So take your time slowly to understand the steps. Okay, I'm using a uh, Ibanez I IBZ 10G. I, I found this um, amp really easy because treble and bass center and sounds so good you know so anyway so this is a music master uh, 1963 neck all original and probably you're asking why you have a neck why not <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching Tomohushita music you are so welcome and I'm playing Gibson. I like Gibson. Lately, I really play a lot SG because 
um, like I like to play funk and I like a Stratocaster or Telecaster but a lot of people use a single coil so I just try to do something slightly different so I may get a little bit different sound so I thought maybe I use more SG okay so grab your guitar okay and really simple again if you don't understand this part and then go to triad lesson on the YouTube or if you are subscribing my guitar wisdom just go to foundation slash triads foundation triads those sections I lay out really 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 simple it's almost really slow <laughs> in other words anybody can understand and uh, yeah it's really good okay I turn on it a little bit okay so you see the first one you go vertical right so you go sodomi or maybe I should play slowly sodomi misodo domiso sodomi okay number one problem is people do this like this holding a C shape to play. So first thing I said to do not think big shape. You have to do individually because you want to play like a piano. Play, rest, play, play, rest, right? So you play, then your right hand, palm, means this, you know, touch. Completely no sound. Then your thumb should be start with like this. Not this. Remember, triads are no style, just foundation. So I treat no style. So I start from here. Okay? Now, next one, first inversion. What you do, just lower your thumb. And root position. Lower your thumb. So right now, your thumb is a center in the back of the neck and a little lower so I tell students try as a great way to learn your thumb position you got that so here we go like that clean okay next one from root position this is common mistake people do like this two three one I prefer three four one this way little bit more relaxed also you can play different things but it's a little bit limited to me so trust me three four one don't ask why because easy <laughs> first finger so do mi mi so do do mi so now once again your thumb position behind the fifth string now center below center much below center okay so this is really fun okay now you notice fifth string root sixth string root has more heavy sound yes so you pick softer okay next one first inversion miso do do miso so me, this is again, a lot of people want to do like the two, three, one. I prefer four, three, four, two, because this way your first finger can use as muting finger. Okay. Then here, lower your thumb, third finger, first finger, mi so do. Mi so do. Do mi so. So do mi. So, right fingering, palm muting, thumb position. See, not only shapes. That's why when you learn from diagram, you don't learn anything because you're believing something right on the fretboard. Anybody can do. My mother can play, you know, second inversion D, but doesn't do any music <laughs> from there. <laughs> you know, anyway. All right, here we go. So, vertical, like this. So, let me. Mi so do, do mi so, 
ソドミドミソソドミミソドドミソミソドドミソソドミミソド See, I'm going to look at my finger because I want to hear the sound and I want to move my finger toward the sound. So, ear training, understanding,、uh, theory. Theory means just number system, really, about the numbers. And、um, yeah, not really about numbers. Yeah. Theory is almost like really, really important about numbers. Yeah, like root third or fifth. You know what I mean? Otherwise, what are these? Kind of hard. Okay, you got the vertical. Horizontal. Sodomi. Domiso. Misodo. Sodomi. Now, here, I want you to do like this. One octave. Then from here, go back. Okay? Do you, do you understand? Second string as a top. Now lower your thumb. Thumb is about center. Okay? Misodo. Sodomi. Domiso. Misodo. Going down. Now, when you have a fourth, third, second string, fourth strings round wound. So if you slide, you make noise. So, you don't want to make a noise. You want to do like this play, slightly、um, raise your finger, and then move to the next position. So, in other words, you don't really slide. Longer. Okay, fifth string root, a little difficult. So, now your finger as a center or a little below. Do mi so, palm mute, mi so do. So, you know, no,、uh, so basically I play like this. See, lift up a little bit to go to the next one. These guitar strings are flat wound, so kind of smooth, so I have to be careful. I'm gonna change it after this one because I wanna go back to regular one. I like few, I like few months stay this and I go back to regular one. I don't know why. Okay. Now, lower than center. Sodomi, three, four, two, okay? Domiso, misodo, sodomi. Do you understand? You go up and down. You play four of them, one more time. And going down. See, clean. This way, you learn. How to play clean better, be patient. You become a better person after you understand triads. Really true, because you have to be very calm and uh, very uh, you know, patient. You know? So, third one, you play root position, means root third fifth from sixth string. Mute. And next one. And mute. Okay, fourth string. Mute. And this. Okay? So that's all root. One more time. Clean, right? First inversion. Misodo. 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 Then one octave different. Misodo. Good job. Now, Sodomi. Sodomi, Sodomi, Sodomi. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. That's three way vertical, horizontal, and same. I did this video on YouTube, but also Guitar Wisdom, more details. Yes, that's it. After that, what do you do? Because you have to develop a little bit. So after that, okay, you understand that. Try. Key of F. But here's the important always people ask a lot of questions. So, should I do 12 different keys? No. Because if you do 1 to 12, it's not good way of thinking. Almost like this, if you do this, everything, I'm all set. Those kind of concepts 
uh, you're no good. You just do little by little, but each time you want to do the best you can. You make the world better, cleaner. Okay? You got that? All right. Good job. So now you only do F. Maybe next one B flat. So that's like you're going to the flat key. Yes, G, you can do that. But one, one at a time. All right. Vertical, horizontal, same. Here we go. You can do much slower. Like that. Root position. First inversion. Second inversion. That's it. And then one more. Let's do that. Say, okay, I can do that, Tomo. I can do F. Then I can do B flat. Great. But always, always make effort. More than you are asked for to do. So in other words, if you only do what somebody asks to do, that's not enough as a hard worker. So in this case, you want to combine C and F, which is difficult to do. So you have to think a little bit more like clearly. So C, now around here, you play F. Good job. C, look at my, look at my eyes. Yes. Smile. Good job. Like that. So your fingers are almost feeling inversions, you know? Yeah. So you, this way, it's confusing, but everything becomes clear. More you do, this lead into improvisation or chord melody and many, many other things. But Found, this is what we call foundation. It's good foundation. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's really good. So here, C, F. What's happening? Now going down. F. Once I can hear the sounds, once I can hear the sounds, I can quicker. So this way, each set, I don't, I don't have to demonstrate, but each set, you can do all ascending, all descending, ascending, descending, descending, ascending. See, hard work. You have to do four times. So each one, like that, slowly, ascending, descending. So now I'm thinking C. So I'm thinking F. Every time I'm playing, thinking about what inversion I play. Root position, second inversion, first inversion. So you have to think, you have, you have to think so quickly. Yeah, then this hard. Think quick. little bit softer see music you can really hear it It's really fun because this way oof, you can really, you know, controlling um, your guitar, <laughs> you know, obviously. 
Mm. I mess up the last one. Last one supposedly you go like this. Go down, then go up. That's it. So bottom line is when people ask, do you know C triads? You have to ask, what do you mean by that? How much? So this way, I ask three ways. And actually, I was really surprised end of the day, uh, Wednesday, because Tuesday, Wednesday morning, 8.30 to 5, 5 p.m., I had you know, all together 30 students. I asked each one same question, but different way to explain because each person has a different personality. Somebody has a strong personality. Somebody has a little bit more like a delicate personality. I can talk strongly each, each one. Do you understand? That's the teacher. We have to really understand the personality and each personality we respect. And we don't really go from the top. We go from the same place. Another the same level we talk. Okay, so that's how we communicate students and teacher, teacher student. And uh, everybody did a good job. And but uh, I told you these, you know, thumb position problem, shape problem, fingering problem, muting problem. And I, I found a few of them just a little bit uh, not clean. Then they understood. So next week, everybody has these three things. Vertical, horizontal, same. O almost of them have these, but I made it clear about what it is. Because this way, we don't have to go back there. They don't have to practice every day, but at least a few weeks or a month, they have to do every day. Then any time of day, week, month, go back to this, you have to be able to play. That's the technique. That's the knowledge. That's the experience. That's so exciting. Exciting. Oh my God. This is so much. Yeah, I have to play guitar. All right. Thank you so much for watching Tomohisa the Music. And if you like my channel, please share with your friends and subscribe. Up to you, you know. And if you want to learn more, of course, you are so welcome to join my Guitar Wisdom. That's amazing. And I'm making more... Um, foundation blues foundation funk and that's really fun to make now try the section getting really really good and we have a sight reading section almost done and we have jazz standards that's all done but i'm creating a little bit more different approach a little bit more detailed approach all right so thank you so much see you soon have a great day take care